Hey guys, I'm just going to run through checking uh, Binance Smart Chain contract to make sure it is as safe as we can easily verify. Uh, so first thing, obviously, we want to go ahead and pull up the contract and uh, make sure you have the contract pulled up rather than the token tracker. So first thing we'll take a look at here is we'll go to the contract tab and contract storage code verified. That's the first thing we want to check. And then we'll click on the read the contract button here. This is a list of all of the functions that exist in the contract. Functions are basically just things the contract can do. Um, there are a few different functions we want to watch out for. Uh, obviously, we want to make sure there's not a mint function in here. That's a big warning sign. It means they can just create more tokens at will. Uh, and another gotcha is max transaction amount. Make sure this isn't so small that you are essentially trapped into the coin or the buy amount is so small you can't make any money. Either one of the two can happen. Um, there's also a function that you may see that's like a sell limit. Don't, don't mess with that either. That's capping you from selling more coins than it says. So just check that against the supply and make sure it fits your numbers. Now we'll scroll down here and what we're looking for is this owner line. And optimally, we want the owner to be the zero address or the zero address with the word dead at the end. That means ownership has been renounced. Uh, no one can touch the contract. It is absolute. Uh, sometimes you will see this as actually having an owner. The dev has not renounced ownership. There are two things that can be. Uh, one is the owner is another contract, and that contract is acting as a deployer or adding other function to this contract. Um, in that case, I recommend having someone take a look at it to make sure it's kosher because that can kind of vary. That gets a little tricky. But if uh, 000 or 000 dead, you are good to go. Uh, as far as ownership or not goes anyway. Um, and then we'll scroll back up here. And I like to go over to the token tracker page. And, you know, we have useful information like how many people are holding the a token here. And what I'm most interested in is going to the holders and checking the wallets. So we want to make sure that there isn't a single wallet or a set of, you know, several wallets that add up to a large percentage of the supply, you know, whales that can really dump the coin easily. You'll normally see uh, pancake swap at the top. That's just the contract that's holding the liquidity for the token so people can trade it. That's not a concern. Um, and we really like this address here, this 00 dead. This is a burn address. Anything gone that is sent to this is gone. We'll never be back in supply. So here we can see that this particular token has burned 52% of the total supply. So that's fantastic. We don't need to worry about that. Um, and it looks like uh, the holding is sped up pretty e evenly on this one. So we're not worried about that. No big whales. Uh, so far looks good to go. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is we're going to go over to tokensniffer.com um, and we'll go ahead and pull up this contract we're looking at. Just search in the top right there. Or we'll pull up a different contract because that one isn't coming up. Okay, so save me. We know this is a safe contract I'm just using as an example. So let's pretend it's an, a, a new contract we're checking out. First thing we want to look at here, verified contract source. We should already know that, but good to double check. Uh, no prior similar token contracts. This one doesn't really matter as much. For the most part, this is just going to tell you if there's an exact match. Like, did they clone a contract and do absolutely nothing different? That's the problem. So... Uh, and then source does not contain a proxy contract. A proxy contract allows a developer to change a contract after it has been deployed. Um, it's basically allowing updating of a contract rather than it just being what it is for the rest of infinity. Uh, so we want to make sure that we don't have one of these. It should be noted that there are some big companies, uh, Compound, for instance, is talking about moving to con proxy contracts. It gives them more flexibility, but it requires you to trust that the developer is not going to do anything shady. And uh, obviously, who the hell trusts any of these developers? Like, let's be real here. Um, we'll scroll down to similar token contracts, of which you will always see a bunch. Everything is a fork and barely edited something else. 
Um, the goal here is to find a contract that's similar that we trust, that we know for sure did not rug, scam, etc. cetera. Uh, we'll say that safe rug is one of those contracts, uh, just for pretend. I have no idea if safe rug is safe or not. Um, and here what we want to compare is we can see that the differences here are just name and name here. So it's exactly the same contract. We don't need to worry about any new code having been added that would be problematic for us. Um, so this is, we're, we're good to go here. We know this is a safe contract because it's nearly an exact match to one we have previously verified as safe. Now, this does not mean that the liquidity has been burned or liquidity has been locked up. That is uh, something I'm not going to cover in this video. You can look at Unicrypt, um, where I will talk about that separately. Um, but as far as verifying that the code of the contract is safe and that ownership is renounced, this should be really the only things you need to do in addition to, you know, like looking over the holders and making sure it isn't a, a whale party. Um, if you do see code here that you do not understand or looks concerning, uh, bring it up with someone in Discord, have them look it over. Uh, we have plenty of people who know Solidity well enough to just do a brief review and tell you if there's something going on or they're just doing some cool stuff with the contract. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to DM me in Discord. Uh, if there are other videos you'd like me to make, I can certainly look into doing that. Take it easy.